The Oldsmobile Golden Rocket, a two-seater show car, was a highlight of the 1956 General Motors Motorama and other subsequent auto shows, including the 1957 Paris Motor Show. The car's design was heavily influenced by the themes of aviation and space exploration, a trend prevalent in the space age. The Golden Rocket's body, made entirely of lightweight fiberglass, was painted in metallic bronze and adorned with bullet-shaped chrome pieces, giving it a rocket-like appearance. Notable features included a swept-back wraparound windshield, less prominent tail fins, and a split-window fast-back roof design, a precursor to the 1963 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. The car was also fitted with unique dotted-line white wall tires. The interior of the Golden Rocket was as futuristic as its exterior. The leather upholstery was finished in blue and gold, and the car's doors were designed to open with the two-piece roof panel rising automatically, similar to the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL's gull-wing doors. The seats were designed for easy access, swiveling outwards by 45 degrees and raising up by 3 inches. The Golden Rocket also featured a pioneering button-controlled tilt steering wheel, with the speedometer placed at the center of the foldable two-spoke steering wheel. The center console and control levers were inspired by an aircraft cockpit. Under the hood, the Golden Rocket was powered by an upgraded 324-cubic-inch Rocket V8 engine, capable of producing 275 horsepower. The car had an automatic transmission, a common feature among all Motorama show cars. However, details on other internal components are not available. The Golden Rocket's design legacy was evident in the early styling mock-up of the 1958 Chevrolet Corvette, which featured a rear design almost directly taken from the Golden Rocket. However, this design never progressed beyond the clay model stage. The split rear window design of the Golden Rocket reappeared in the 1963 Corvette Stingray Coupe under the direction of Bill Mitchell, albeit for only one model year due to visibility issues. The current status of the Golden Rocket is uncertain. It was a common practice for General Motors to destroy show cars after they fell out of usage to avoid liability concerns. However, there is photographic evidence that the Golden Rocket still existed as late as 1962. There have been unconfirmed rumors of the car's location in New Jersey. Motorama historian David W. Temple believes that the Golden Rocket, along with other lost show cars, will likely never resurface.